everybody. We are out on this. This is the WK GT Max in the 360 view. Yes, hey, we've sorted it out. We've got the new Insta camera running, so all the videos now all on the Insta. Now, we've mounted this on the bottom of the mirror, so you get a view backwards onto the bike and forwards onto the road. Just to show you, obviously, big seat on this, a lot of room for the pilly, grab rail, and you can put a top box on the back of this, so it's a 32 litre top box on this. Loads of storage under the seat. Now, on the lock down here, reaching down, click the button to the left, or turn the key to the left, opens the seat up. You've got enough under here, and you obviously you can't see it because I've got the seat up, but you will get all your rider gear under there. Your fuel tank is at the back, E5 petrol, and just pop the seat down, and that locks it up. There are two storage pockets at the front. On your switch gear, you've got horns, indicators, lights. That's all you need. Start button, kill button. Nice wide mirrors. Decent foot bay down here as well. So on the Insta, you can see there is loads of foot room here. There is also room for your pillion to put their feet up. So should you want to take a pillion? But obviously, it's a 50cc bike. It isn't going to do it any more than 30 miles an hour. Nice little heat shield to the back. And the tail tidy on this is really, really sweet. Everything on this bike is LED. So, main stand, side stand, it's got a kickstart as well, should you run the battery flat. We're going to jump on the bike, hook it off the main stand. Now, seating height, have a glance down there, I'm a 32 inch leg, so I'm 5'10", 32 inch leg, and I'm quite a long stretch. This seat down here is really, really wide, so that's the best bit about it. There is loads of seating room, it sits a lot higher then obviously your Lexmoto Echo 50, it's a lot bigger, it looks more like a 125. But arm the ignition up. On your display down here, you've got the fuel tank, you've got a battery charge, your miles an hour, and your rev counter. That is all you need. On your telltales down here, indicator left, indicator right, and main beam. That is all you need there, and of course your engine management light. So, very easy, basic controls, and it sounds good for a 50cc, guys. So, let's get out, let's have a ride. Now, we are down at Dobby's where I normally shoot my videos or we go down to the park. Just have a glance, look. They've built this electric charge station over the last couple of months. If you followed my videos and when we were shooting about four months ago, they were building all this and they've now put in all the charge points. You can get six cars in here and motorcycles as well. And, down here this morning, we've got free cars, so people are making use of the electric charge station. So charging their cars up, shoot into Dobby's, have a cup of coffee and charge your car up at the same time. Is electric going to be the future? Absolutely not. Possibly on cars, electric motorcycles, I'll give it a miss for the moment. I like the sound of a petrol engine. So we are going to go out and ride and we're going to uh, have a run around town. Now, when we did the video on the Insta with the GTR, we mounted this on my screen. And obviously it was bouncing around like a good one. And now I thought, oh, that's going to be a very shaky video. Believe it or not, on the Insta 360, you get very good stabilisation off the bounce. So we'll wait for the traffic to clear. But if you're thinking of motor vlogging, we used to have my GoPro sitting here on the end of my chin and it's now twice it's come off we've shoe grewed two lots of these chin mounts on and the chin mounts are good but if they get wet on obviously the weight of the camera it falls off so we won't be using the gopro anymore we're going to take this uh, clamp off the front of the crash helmet and we're going to stick with riding using the insta now obviously we've yet to try it with the selfie stick but we will see, obviously over the next, because uh, we're just experimenting at the moment, we'll see over the next couple of weeks what it's like putting it on a longer selfie stick so you can see the bike in a better view. But obviously from this angle you get a view of the road, you get to hear the bike, and you get to see me sitting on the bike riding, which is a slightly different now. We're being very, very careful this morning. It is minus four, and the roads are like a skid pan, or an, yeah, a skid pan. There is sheet ice all over the roads. So I'm being very careful, not foot down yet. 
but we are taking it very very easy on the corners on this 50cc now this one's got no L plates on because it is an older rider so conditions like this space yourself out a little bit further keep yourself away from the car in front because if you do have to stop you don't want to be grabbing big handfuls of brakes in these conditions now normally I'm a, a front breaker I'm using the rear at the moment just to bring the back end down I'd rather slippy slidey on the back end than I would on the front grab a handful of brake especially uh, on an icy road and you're going to wash out the front end so we are going to go around town very gingerly <laughs> taking our time and have a little run around now with summer gloves I can operate all the controls yes I've still got my summer gloves on so fingers are absolutely freezing at the moment stuck behind learners at 14 miles an hour and he's turning right good go get out of my way we're going to have a run around the town and just see what this little GT Max is like now I absolutely love these with a 50cc bike the Echo was the biggest seller last year just due to the fact that it's cheap as chips but for quality reliability and just overall looks and aesthetics this bike is the full 50 out of 50 I absolutely love the GT Max bigger better bolder bike now it's a little bit more money I think it's around about another 250 pound more than what the Echo sells for but with WK parts are easily available you're not waiting months and months oh I need this I need this for my bike oh it's out of stock it's on back order we're waiting the parts to come in so WK Quadzilla have got a very good supply of parts but overall the bikes are absolutely beautiful now Scrambler is a great bike the Scrambler 50 they do geared bikes in 50cc so they do the Scrambler 50 and we've got another learner so Scrambler 50 and of course the WK Colts now full test rides on my page of those nice and steady around this corner god look at the ice on the road you've got that white sheen everywhere and if you see a white sheen on the road be very careful white sheen is not as good as what a Barry sheen is quick joke there but the handy thing is that's nice very clear yeah, wave me oh. female rider or female driver and you've just got to be aware oh god what's the point in turning in front of a motorcyclist when he's got with the brake shoes uh, another one that got uh, license out of a cornflake packet but as I say you've got to be very aware watching all those cars on the left to make sure they're not pulling out watching the corner now there's a lorry there you know people are going to cut the corner and try and get past so get your head around the corner before you turn and it's just being visually aware of all the numpties that are out on the road especially at this time of the morning because it is school run oh, I've got the kids at school, I've got to get the shopping, oh, I've got to get to work for 10 o'clock or whatever everybody's packing everything into a 45 minute rush around town we've got low summer sun it is blindingly cold it is a low sun but we're out uh, running on the GT Max I need to get back another hot cup of coffee in my hands to warm my fingers why is everybody on such a go slow this morning come on and I can hear a 10 o'clock alarm going off in my pocket telling me coffee break not happening at the moment right pulling out the junction look left before you pull out because cars on the other side of the road being careful for them round the speed bump now suspension on these is mid to quite firm you do get to feel every bump on these but people say oh the suspension will soften up no it doesn't suspension is suspension it is set and once it's set but you get a very good ride off the GT Max, even if it is a firm ride. And thank God for an Iridium visor with that low sun. And obviously this helmet is the LS2. 
and this is known as the Valiant. It's the Valiant 2 and this is a custom one as well because it is titanium and it's hand brushed as well. Did pay an arm and a leg for it but never ever scrimp on a crash helmet. Now I tend to run two visors so let's do a speed bump up and down see if we can bounce the camera about. But the Valiant, obviously, it's got a 180 degree flip on the chin, so I can go open face and flip the uh, chin part of my helmet over the back. Internal sun visor. It is a little bit noisy when you get some wind under it, as you've heard off the GTR. But it is a very comfortable helmet. It's quite lightweight, and I could sit in this crash helmet all day if I had to on a long ride. Have a speed bump. Council can afford to put tarmac on the roads to put a speed bump, but they can't <laughs> can't spare a bit of tarmac to fill a pothole. Always baffles me that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's blisteringly cold. How many times have I said that now? So, a little bit more of a run. We've got loads and loads of miles to still do on this bike, get it out and do a few more test miles yet. We've got a little bit of a run around town. Oh dear. Right, going left here, check over your shoulder, look to the right, car's coming, not pulling out in front of him because it's 30 mile an hour bike. Take your time RB. So while we're doing that, we're going to waffle on. We went out yesterday, let's give it some beans and see how long it takes us to get to 30 miles an hour. We're there already, how about that? So it's quite nippy off the mark if you give it a handful of, but obviously once you hit 30, in it comes and it don't want to go anymore. So 29 mile an hour. But for pottering around town, absolutely lovely. Something for school, college, or for work, 50cc, cheapest chips, just over 100 to the gallon. Insurance on these is cheap as hell, and your tax is about 24 quid a year, so overall, it's a good little bike to run around on, and the best thing on 30 mile an hour roads, I can dominate the lane and make cars wait. Now on a dual carriageway, it's sit position one, out the way of the traffic. But, all in all, pretty darn good. So, what's been going on this week? Well, Wednesday night, midweek mumble with a peaky biker. <coughs> we went to Motorcycle World yesterday, up in Northampton, for the unveiling of the Norton. That is up on my uh, videos as well. We did a little uh, walk around Norton. Having a look at the bikes, and oh god, some of the bikes there, £52,000 for a sports bike. Absolutely love it. Full carbon, full Norton engine, British made. Was it nice? It was very nice. And thanks to all the guys up at Motorcycle World, we had a lovely time up there. Loads of uh, canapes, as they call it, which was things like sausage rolls, volivants, little bits of quiche, little sausages, little salmon on croutes, and all that sort of thing. Washed down nicely with some beers and a shed load of Prosecco that I was drinking yesterday. He must have had about three or four glasses, so lucky I wasn't driving there and driving back. But it was very good and it was great to see uh, the team from Norton there as well. So great times had by all. And then obviously this week, Friday, is the live stream. So. Friday night live stream with me starts at 8 o'clock. If you are offended by bad language or adult content, please don't come on the live stream. We have been warned. Adult disclaimer. Will James be back? Yes, people have been asking, is James coming back? I have absolutely no idea, but last Friday was probably one of the best live streams we have done for a long time. Was fun. And a good time was had by all. Oh, 